Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through how I upcycled this drinks cabinet. If you missed my last week's video, I was talking about how to design furniture and I came up with this design for this drinks cabinet. So definitely go check that out if you haven't watched it already. So here is the piece before, which I showed you in my last video because I wanted to talk through how I was going to design it. So I don't really like the handles and I wanted to add hairpin legs. So I'm just showing you them here. And next we will see my dad. What are you doing? Just uh, out in the cold here, but don't jump around me. <laughs> Do you want me to go get your jump? We're measuring because we're taking off part of the legs because they're a bit damaged. Funny, that little bit sticking out, no, because no, the hairpin legs will be fine. And you will see that he's using a saw to cut off the bottom of the cabinets for me. Um, he did want me to do this myself, but I was scared. I am just cleaning down the hairpin legs and giving them a light sand before I spray them. I'm using WRX in gold leaf because I wanted them gold. And here we are drilling them on and he convinced me to try putting these on and I didn't break anything so it was all good. So now we've got those structural elements all sorted out. You can see it's on the legs. I've taken off the hardware. I'm giving it a really good clean and then I'm going to give it a sand. Make sure you're wearing a mask when you're sanding. I am using a medical mask, which isn't probably a good idea, but that's what I had. So once you do all your sanding, then you can go in with a tack cloth and make sure all of the dust is gone. I'm removing this fake leather lining just with a hairdryer and a little knife because I didn't like how it looked and I'm gonna paint that door anyway. I'm not even going to pretend to tell you that I knew what I was doing with this design because I absolutely had no idea and you will have seen that I was removing tape there because this was my second attempt. I tried on the Saturday and I gave it a go the next day. I found that using a paint marker helped for this and then I just taped the design out and now I'm using an oil based primer. So I can't give you any tips on this design basically because it took me so long and I still I'm unsure how I did it, <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how this design worked out and it's really different and yeah, I really liked it. So yeah, I taped anywhere that the wood was going to be on show, I taped that as well and cut it all to size and taped around the edges, primed it and now I'm going in with some Helmi 30 in like this greeny tealy colour and I had to do a good few coats of this because it's so dark and I didn't use a dark enough primer. So then this is the final coat. I think I probably did three layers of this teal. I am doing a gradient on this piece. So it's a teal color and then a dark blue color on the right side. So while that's wet, then you're gonna see me adding this blue color. You can sort of see the difference here, but in photos, it's so hard to tell. Um, and while it was wet, I just created this gradient. So I went in with a roller and did that side and then used a brush to push that color over to the left as well. And I just thought it gave it more depth. Who am I kidding though? I probably just wanted to make this more complicated for myself. So I did this gradient and I really liked how it turned out. It looks quite sci-fi or something, I'm not sure. Um, God, I don't watch sci-fi, so I really can't make that comparison. <laughs> My boyfriend's probably listening to this thinking she is full of shit. <laughs> she watched Alien for the first time a few months ago. <laughs> really enjoyed it by the way really good had never seen it before and thoroughly enjoyed it was creepy as hell really good what else did i watch i watched the shining the other day for the first time that was cool okay now we're back to tape peeling <laughs> stay on topic um so i'm peeling off my masking tape while it's wet and staying as close as possible i'm wearing gloves so that i don't get paint all over my hands Um, you'll see some paint chipped away there because I wasn't close enough. This section here is super satisfying, but of course my hand had to get in the way 
and you can't really see me peeling off this huge triangle well there you go that's the money shot anyway so that part was very satisfying and you can see that I tried to get the design to go color wood color just to keep it interesting and yeah I hope you enjoy all of this tape peeling So now that all the tape has been removed, I'm going to put in my handles. I had my dad's help with this again, but this is actually me. So I did this one all by myself. So I measured, measured where I wanted them to go and then I used this drill bit thingy to create the hole. Look at that. Fantastic work if I do say so myself. <laughs> so next up I used teak oil to bring the wood back to life and all I did was wipe it with a rag to make sure there's no dust and then put oil all over. This is a self-sealing paint so you won't have any issues if you use a self-sealing paint and then you use oil. Then I'm painting the inside so I'm painting the two doors and then I'm painting a triangle on each back of it and that's just primer that's gone on there so that's like a light blue primer and then I will go back in with the same dark blue I used earlier. So here we come with the end result. I really hope you like it and if you try it at home make sure to tag me. It's at Colourful Saz. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as I get a, a new video every week. I'm super happy with how this turned out and I really think the hairpin legs and the new hardware really really helps and yeah I'm really glad I painted the inside also. So that is it. I will see you here next week. Thanks so much you guys.